Tonight's fact versus fiction. We are tackling one of the biggest questions about COVID-19, the impact it has on pregnant women. Channel 11's Angie Moreski is here now to sort out the facts from the fiction regarding pregnancy and COVID-19. There is nothing stronger than a mother's bond with her child. So understandably, pregnant women and new moms are worried about the risk of transmitting coronavirus to their babies. We talked with a maternal fetal specialist at Allegheny Health Network to get some answers. Are pregnant women at greater risk of getting the coronavirus? And the answer is not by the data that we have currently. The other question is, is a pregnant lady at greater risk for getting sicker, of getting pneumonia, that kind of a situation? And right now, reassuringly, it appears not. So that's good. Based on current data, the answer is no. Okay, on to our next question now. If you have the virus, can you transmit it to your baby while you're pregnant? Generally speaking, the impression that exists now is there is not in utero transmission. However, I tell you that there are a couple of cases where babies were born with antibodies um, to mothers who had been infected. So presumably it's possible, but unlikely. As for the possibility of passing immunity along to your baby while in utero, so far the data has shown that's not happening with COVID-19. It's believed so far because moms didn't have the virus early enough in pregnancy. That does happen in a lot of other viral type illnesses that the baby actually has some protection when they're born, but that presumes that the mother had a viral infection earlier in pregnancy. Okay, finally, this question that a lot of moms are asking, is it safe to breastfeed? It appears that there isn't passage of the virus into breast milk. Of course, after birth, babies are just as susceptible to person-to-person -to -person transmission as anyone else. So be especially careful about social distancing, hand washing, and cleaning frequently touched surfaces. Taking those precautions will help keep you and your baby safe. Angie Moreski, Channel 11 News.